Hello and welcome on Aviators YTV. I'm Hina Pilot, and if you are here, you are most likely the proud owner of a Bruna product or interested in getting one. In this episode, we will take a look at software installation, that is everything required for your Bruna product to communicate with your PC and your simulators. Let's get into it. Luckily for us, the good folks at Bruner packaged everything that we need in a single downloadable file. Because you know, they, they, they are smart. Go ahead and follow the first link in the description to get the latest version of their software, CLS2SIM. Scroll down and locate CLS2SIM software download. Click on that and download it. Once the download is complete, install CLS2SIM on your preferred drive. Please bear in mind that a Bruner device relies on this software to get data from your hardware, joystick or yoke base, compute it and then send it to your simulator. There is no direct connection between the hardware and the simulator. Therefore, I would strongly recommend, if you can, to install CLS2SIM on an SSD or at least on the same drive as your simulators for faster communication. Click Next. The wizard will now ask you for components to install. Select the simulators you intend to use with your product. In my case, I will select Xplain, MSFS 2020, and the amazing and definitely best of them all, DCS World. Then click on Install. If you happen to be reinstalling this software, the wizard may ask you if you want to replace your old plugins. I would again strongly recommend you agree to it as this will ensure you have the latest plugin versions installed. Once the installation says completed, you can go ahead and close this wizard. You are not quite finished with the software installation yet. There is an extra step required, that is to install the VJOY drivers. We won't get into much details about VJOY in this video, as this will be covered later. For simplicity's sake, just consider VJOY as your product driver for now. Look for the Brunner Electronic AG folder on the drive where you installed CLS2SIM, then get into the CLS2SIM folder. Once there, locate the Virtual Joystick Driver folder and click on vjoysetup.exe to install the vjoy drivers. Again, the wizard asks you to select some component. These are optional components that may come in handy if you want to develop your own VJOY application, use an existing VJOY application, or simply troubleshoot while your hardware is not working. I would strongly advise to install at least the VJOY configuration application and the VJOY monitoring application to help you figure out why a VJOY application is not working later on. Click on Next, then Install. You now have all the fundamental software requirements. Please note that after these steps, your Bruno product will still need to be configured in CLS2SIM to work. In this video, we covered the installation of CLS2SIM and VJOY. In the next video, CLS2SIM fundamentals, we will take a look at CLS2SIM, how to configure profiles and see the effect of every basic settings in action on my Bruna product, the CLS-E joystick base. In the meantime, feel free to leave a thumbs up and a follow to our YouTube and Twitch channels. Join our Discord and we'll see you next time. Aviators out.